Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the selenium interview questions. That is, what is selenium grid extras and its extra features for selenium grid? Let me answer. Selenium grid extras is a utility tool that extends the functionality of selenium grid. Okay, by default, selenium grid will come with some default features. Okay. But if you want to add some more extra features to this existing Selenium Grid, then we can use this utility tool known as Selenium Grid Extras. Okay, along with Selenium Grid, if you add up the Selenium Grid Extras, so it will give you or add you some extra additional features to this existing Selenium Grid features. Okay, that's what is Selenium Grid Extras. Okay, so some of the key or additional features offered by Selenium Grid Extras include, okay, so which is this, all these features are not there in Selenium Grid by default. Okay, if you Use Selenium Grid Extras utility tool with Selenium Grid, you will get these additional features into the Selenium Grid. So one is video recording. Okay. So you can do a video recording of the uh, scripts that got executed. Okay. It enables the recording of the execution sessions as videos. So what is the use? What is the use of doing that? So then, uh, you know, uh, you can use it for debugging purpose. If a particular test fails, then you can watch the video and observe that why the test is failing. It may not be before the machine always, right? So once the test execution is completed of all the tests uh, on Selenium Grid and all, and uh, one of the tests is failing, simply you go to that particular test and watch the video of that particular test, okay, which got recorded with the re video recording feature of the Selenium Grid Extras. And by watching the video, you can find out or figure out what went wrong, okay? It, so it can be simply used for debugging purpose and troubleshooting purposes, okay? Then log collection, okay? So with Selenium Grid Extras, uh, we can collect logs generated, okay, we can generate the logs uh, during test execution. So different levels of logs, like in, include browser logs, node logs, and grid logs, and all different varieties of logs you can generate. So again, the same thing for troubleshooting purpose, we can use this log collection, okay, if something, if a particular test is failing and all the stuff uh, to see what went wrong in that particular test, you can actually go and watch the logs, okay, that got generated, okay, and uh, you can figure out like, identify the problems or troubleshoot the problems, okay. Then similar to video recording, here also troubleshooting or debugging is there. Then automatic uh, node registration, okay? So whenever your Selenium grid requires uh, some extra node, okay? So you see, generally these decisions are taken manually in case of normal Selenium grid, okay? You have to decide some hub nodes, okay, manually. And you have to decide how many nodes and all those stuff manually. Uh, but sometimes our estimates will be wrong, like this many nodes and that many nodes and uh, all those stuff will be wrong. So what we can do is uh, we can go with Selenium Grid Extras feature of Selenium Grid where you can enable this automatic node registration where based on the need in the Selenium Grid, automatically a node will be created and your scripts are going to run on that particular node, okay? So instead of manually registering each node with Selenium Grid setup, Selenium Grid Extra can aut automate the node registration process. Automatically, the node registration will happen. This makes it easier to add or remove nodes dynamically based on your testing needs, okay? Dynamically, while the tests are running, you can decide whether you want some extra nodes or you want to reduce the number of nodes and all those stuff. So this is possible with the help of automatic, automatic node registration feature in Selenium Grid. Then we have performance monitoring. So we can track the things or monitor the performance things, okay? So while the tests uh, are running, you can see like how the resources uh, utilization is being done by the tests and all on the test nodes and all, like uh, you can monitor the CPU usage, memory usage, and network usage to identify any performance bottlenecks and all, okay? This is possible. Then screenshots, you can, it can capture the screenshots uh, during the test execution. So for visual verification and error analysis, you can do that, okay? As a proof, you can also use them, okay? Then extended browser support. Uh, by default, Selenium Grid only supports few browsers, okay, to run the scripts on, but with the help of this uh, Selenium Grid Extra's additional feature, this extra browser support feature, uh, we can actually go and uh, run our scripts on some browsers and some browser versions which are not uh, supported by Selenium Grid by default, okay? And many more key features are there, okay? These are some features, but there are many more features uh, that will come with Selenium Grid Extras, okay? That is, uh, we can restart node after a set of uh, test executions, okay? After every few test executions on the node, uh, you have to restart the node, okay? That That we can do that. Central storage of configuration for all the nodes on the hub server. We can, so we can centralize a, a node configurations of, on the hub server. Killing any browser instances by name. If you have to kill any browser instance, you can do it by name. Stopping any process uh, by PID, then process ID. Moving mouse to specific, uh, specific location and many more, okay? 
So these are many, uh, there are many key features, okay? So you don't have to know much about selenium grid extras, but uh, you know, this is just for the knowledge purpose. Uh, this question, I don't think we'll get uh, a lot in the interviews, but if you really get it, uh, at least you give some basic knowledge, like uh, what exactly this one is, okay? And naturally say that I have never used it, but you know, uh, there was no situation where I have used it, but I uh, have uh, gone through some, you know, uh, over the internet and while, uh, you know, I just got to know that um, there's something known as Selenium Grid Extras, uh, which uh, can extend the uh, default features of Selenium Grid by giving it uh, some extra or additional features, okay? Some crazy additional features, okay? That knowledge, if you express means that is very good, okay? Well, I'm good. It's not compulsory that, uh, you know, you have, you have to have this knowledge, but, uh, you know, this kind of question we rarely get, but if you really get, you know, you can take this as an opportunity and uh, give them an answer uh, so that they know that uh, this guy has a lot of knowledge on different stuff. Okay. Out of bonds knowledge. Okay. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.